Hi everyone, welcome back. And um, we're going to explore now some movements uh, along the back of the body uh, using the squishy ball to create a softening and a hydration of the connective tissue and really this whole midline of the body. So this can feel very relaxing. It can help reduce a lot of the pain and tension that we carry through those muscles. Uh, but this is really, um, it's a very soft, a very subtle, a very fluid movement experience. And so I'm just going to do a quick version of this, but I encourage you to really spend some time here and get curious and explore the various movements that feel good in your body here. So find your squishy ball, and this is pretty deflated. Um, so as you place it underneath your back for the first time, you will know immediately if it's too, if there's too much air in there or not enough. And so we'll just take a moment to kind of find that Goldilocks position. So come join me on the floor. So let's begin our movement exploration by placing your ball uh, right behind the shoulder blades, right in the back of the heart center. So, as we come into this position, there will be an openness across the chest. Your head can rest on the floor, or if you need a pillow underneath your head, please do so. And for now, just keep your knees bent and feet on the floor. And see how that ball feels there, if you need to adjust it at all. I'm kind of wiggling my shoulder blades out to make sure it's in the right place. I want mine to be just a little higher. So you get to wiggle about and find that Goldilocks position. And first of all, this can just feel quite lovely to open up through the front of the body. So just allow your arms to open out to the sides. Take a little breath here. Just let the weight of your body relax into that ball. Feel the letting go. And start to notice how that ball supports you. And I'm going to pull my arms in a little bit so that I can feel a little bit more movement now of the upper body. And there's really no right or wrong way to do this. I'm just letting myself be curious as I start to rock a little bit from side to side. I say, oh, that feels kind of nice. I'm going to roll my head in that direction because that feels like a natural movement. And then at some point, I'm going to start to rock, rock towards the other side. And oh, it feels good for my head to go that way too. So really go slowly with this. There is an unwinding that happens with this. And it's a whole lot less about doing a movement uh, and a whole lot more about exploring what feels good, what is possible, where does your body want to go. So you kind of get to come out of the driver's seat for a little while, right? We're all in the driver's seat of our life, ideally. In a perfect world, at least we think we are. <laughs> so what would happen if you just stepped back? and let yourself explore and see where your body wants to go. Yeah. So another way you can do this is to cross your arms over your chest. It gives you a little bit more room to move here with this rocking movement. You can breathe into that upper back area. And you might also start to explore just a little bit of this um, side to side, so I kind of call it the, the mermaid movement or like you're a piece of seaweed, starting to contract through your side body, bringing your hip and shoulder maybe towards each other, a little bit of that C curve from side to side, just waking up, saying hello to your side body. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do this, just exploring. And all of these movements are highly
hydrating, our bringing awareness to our, our getting our fluids moving out of the stuckness that is oftentimes there. So you might also just do this little rock forward and back and see how that feels. Just rocking up and down, arms in any position. You might explore putting all of these different movements together. One just kind of flowing into the next. Again, I'm, I'm going through this a little bit more quickly, but I really encourage you to spend some really yummy time here. And at some point, we're going to come back and find stillness. Let the arms relax and just take a big breath. Just pausing, noticing what you notice. And then roll over onto your side, and we're just going to pull that ball down under the middle back. So now it's right under the back of the, um, of the solar plexus. So not too far underneath your lower back, but right here under the middle back. So we get this opening up right here through the rib cage, through the diaphragm. Let's take a breath here. Let it go. Just let your back melt down onto that ball. Again, we might find a little rock side to side. Mm -hmm. See what is feeling good in this area of your body. So there's a theme if you've not noticed what feels good. This is about following the path of comfort, staying out of pain. Um, our bodies really like to experience pleasure, and they are constantly looking for what feels good. And these movements are meant to bring us out of pain, out of discomfort. So if we're doing something and it doesn't feel good, then change it up for you. Make it feel good for you. Yeah. So again, we might get a little bit of that uh, arch and curl here. Exploring some movements through your rib cage. And spending as much time as you like here, but for now, just coming back to stillness, taking a deep breath. Let your body relax. Good. And then we'll roll to our side and just slide that ball down underneath the hips this time. So right under your sacrum. So your hips are going to be floating off the floor. So this is kind of similar to when we had the ball underneath the head and we did all of that work for our neck. So it's kind of the same idea here. So find that little floaty place. Mm -hmm. And you might move through some little pelvic tilts, this arch and curl, rocking the hips forward and back. might kind of explore a little side to side movement which is really easy to take into that C curve, that C weed movement in this placement with your hips on top of the ball. So these little hip hikes rolling up into the waistline. What does the rest of your body want to do with that? Does your head or your shoulder want to move towards your hip as it curls up to you? Just notice. Play and explore. One of my favorite movements here are pelvic circles or a pelvic clock. So as you come back to center, feel the weight of your hips resting on that ball. 
and begin to tuck the hips under, and then circle around your sacrum. So as though you had a clock resting on your belly, and it was facing the ceiling, and 12 o'clock was towards your toes, and 6 o'clock was towards your nose. We're just circling around, finding some freedom of movement in the hips, the pelvis, the lower back, the lower psoas, all of these movements are hydrating our midline, yeah. our deepest inner core, and I'm not talking about doing a bunch of like get ripped core exercises, change that direction of your circle, but really tuning into our supple core body, this internal intelligence and support that is available to us as we Find some of these different types of movements. This is also movement that helps us find center. So this is our internal GPS again. Where are we in space? Proprioception. So come back to center. Just let your hips rest there. Take a breath. And let's get a little fancy with this. So now... Pressing down into your left foot, just bring your right knee to you. Give it a little hug. Keep it there and begin to slide your left leg out. And reaching out through that left heel, float that leg just a few inches off the floor. We're going to swing it slowly from right to left, from side to side. So you may be finding some wiggles and wobbles there, which is wonderful. That is your nervous system orienting itself to where is center. Good. Feel this lengthening of the hip, the hip flexor, the psoas. And come back to center and lower that heel down. Gently draw that right knee to you and just enjoy a breath. Easy through the neck, jaw, shoulders. Good, and then slide that left foot back onto the floor. Place your right foot down. Pause. Bring your left knee into your chest. Give it a little squeeze towards you. Slowly slide your right foot away from you, reaching out through that heel. And as you continue to lengthen out through that right foot, float it just a few inches off the floor. Your knee is as straight as can be there. As we slowly rock the right leg from side to side. Bring that leg back to center. Lower the heel down. Draw that left knee towards you. Enjoy a breath. Slide that right foot back onto the floor. Lower that foot down. Relax. Now just slide that ball out from underneath you. Let your whole back relax onto the floor. Notice how you feel. Maybe you can feel more of the back of your body making contact with the ground. Take another breath here. And let's roll to one side. Press the floor away and slowly bring yourself back up to sitting. So thank you all so much for joining in this movement exploration. Feel free to play around with some other types of movements that you might enjoy here. There are 
endless ways that you can use the squishy ball, but I hope this gets you started on some ideas and um, just have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.